They say this is a big rich town I just come from the poet's part Bright light city life, I gotta make it This is where it goes down 50 Cent, the star of the night I had the pleasure of interviewing you at Gun Premiere And yeah. I also saw you at Tao at the Forget That Club event right. I actually have to admire um, your businessman And now Lloyd Banks Tell me about this, Tony Yeo, you empower. I mean, you are at the top of the game right now. How does it feel at this moment right now? I mean, it feels great. You know, I'm excited about it. Like, the easier part, like, putting G-Unit together is the easy part for me. Because like, they're like my younger brothers. When I'm upset with them, I'm going to say what I want to say. They say what they want to say, just not in front of you on the camera. Because right? they need me to put it back together when it comes. But at the end of the day, like, as far as this project is concerned, it's been two years. That we worked on this project, me and Courtney Kemp, went through the development processes. It's an amazing process. What turns me on about film is how much depth, how much detail is involved in the storytelling process. A lot of the music, you got to get that story out in three minutes. This one, we got eight films. You know, so you'll see eight different shows. Now tell me, what's next for 50 Cent? I mean, you're unpredictable. You're doing so many things at the same time. It's a big thing that you would like to do. I, I want to continue success in it, in music. I'm going to be honest with you. It has nothing to do with money. It does. Just The music means more to me. I can't have the success that I've had in my career in music again. It's impossible. I don't see anyone going diamond. My two albums, my two first albums is so big that I can't create. But I can make music that impacts that hard on our actual culture. It means that much to your personal pleasure. To what, you enjoying it. What do you think the viewers will get from power? I think they will get everything that's missing. You know, I think when, when you get the kind of projects that are honest, you see yourself in some characters. You see uh, energy that, that lives within the city. That's why it was so important that it was shot in New York City. So even the extras of someone that's from New York, hey, that energy is I'm excited to actually there. interview the lead actor of this great series, Power, that will be premiering on Stars Network, Omari Hardwick. Tell me, how exciting is this project to you? How different is it from any other that you have done? Oh, it's the most different of anything I've ever done in life because um, it's a project that I actually had to deliberate over as to whether to do it or not. It took me about two weeks to sit with it, and um, I had someone very special praying over me, and and wanting me to embrace my power, literally down to those words. Um, and then, I, lo and behold, I messed around and got a job that was called Power. So I think it's extremely life-changing for me. You know, I ran from it for a long time. To be in this position, to be on buses that are riding by on the side of a bus and on a billboard, and it's a special moment. And a lot of family and, and friends and loved ones have prayed me up to this moment of you asking me that question. So. Cool. That's fantastic. Now, do you identify yourself with your character in any way? Of course. I'm pretty complex, and he's quite complex. You know, she, Courtney Kimpagbo, is the she, the creator. Um, and 50 Cent, the Curtis being the EP, they definitely created colors that are not, you know, in totality Omari. But I think um, the fact that he's complex and, you know, a, 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 a loving, sensitive, but yet really powerful, dark, brooding, wants things to go the way he wants them to ambitiously go. I think there's a lot of One of the actors of Power, this new series that will be airing on Stars this Saturday, June 7th. Joseph, tell me how does it feel, this premiere of Power here in New York City? It feels incredible to see it on the uh, big screen because of everybody's hard work. And I think the world that Courtney Kemp Agbo, who I hope you talked to, created, really came to life. And to have 50 Cent here and Omari Hardwick, our show star, Notori Naughton, Lila Lauren. It's been incredible. There's a real energy for it from it that I think is reflected in the show too. So how different is this project from any other one you've been in? It's unique. It's totally different. I think that this project represents New York City more than any project that's come out in forever. Speaking of New York City, right? And I don't hate Chris. I love Chris. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, thank and congratulations on continued success. Thank you. I'm here with Atori, one of the stars from this Power series that we were premiering this Saturday on Stars Network. Tell me a little bit about your role in Power. Well, I play Tasha St. Patrick. She's the wife of Ghost. She's 
a very strong, you know, passionate woman. She loves her husband. And she also comes from the streets. You know, she's definitely a ride or die wife. You know, they started off like Bonnie and Clyde. And I think Tasha is not willing to give up her family or her man. So she's going to fight for her. Oh, a little feisty, huh? She's very feisty. For sure. Now I want to know your dress. It's fabulous. What are you wearing? Oh, well, my stylist, Kelly Brown, put this together. It's Mandalay, the designer. Um, it's unbelievable. I love, like, how, you know, it's simple and very couture, but really, it, yeah, it shows off the curves, and it's actually a really beautiful color. I just love the gunmetal and the, the details. It's really gorgeous. Now, out of all the projects that you've done, how is Power different? I think Power is different because it has, you know, a little bit of everything. We've got Spanish-speaking cast members, you know. I'm singing in the show later down the line. I get to do music. There's a really interesting, you know, it's not just urban, it's not just hip-hop. I think it's universal, and I think it's definitely going to show people both sides of what I can do, you know, not just as a singer, but also as an actress. Fantastic. We wish you continued success. Oh, thank you very much.